Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Alpine Stars Valparaiso V3 Dry Star Textile Jacket, which costs £399.99. The Valparaiso V3 Dry Star is a really versatile textile touring jacket that covers everything from the depths of winter through to the height of summer. Thanks to removable waterproof linings and thermal linings, they can both be taken out to suit the conditions. The outer shell is made from a really classy and tough ripstop material. It's the kind of thing that's used in luggage, tank bags, and it's got a crisscross thread pattern woven through it to give it extra strength and stop any tears developing. There's a ballistic nylon material reinforcing at the shoulders, the elbows, and also at the base of the hips to give it a bit of extra toughness. There are fit adjusters at the waist and at the forearm, and then again at the bicep. So they take up slack and keep the outer of the jacket fitted, even if you've got those removable liners taken out. There's a host of venting. Got them at either side on the chest, undo those zips, and then there's a drawstring pull cord that can be tightened to keep that open and keep the air flowing. And then also on the base of the cuff to get more airflow coming through. The collar can be pinned back to allow more air to flow in. This loop attaches to the hook around there and that's out of the way so that you're getting a good amount of airflow. That collar fastens on a really effective press stud. Alpine Stars also don't make too big a deal of this, but there's an expansion panel around the side here. Unzip it and it's a little bit like those tank bags where you unzip and it just opens up an expansion panel to give you more coverage around the neck if that's something that you want. There's loads of light reflective material so that you've got extra safety in a car's headlight beam and also plenty of pockets. You've got one either side at the hip and also one either side of the main zip at the chest. So you can tuck bits and pieces in there on the front Map pocket at the back there to tuck away, not just maps, but any bits and pieces that you don't need constant access to. And the ventilation continues with this vent across the top of the shoulder blade. Coming back around to the front of the jacket, the main fastener is just a chunky old zip. Fastens down the front. But what this jacket gives you is an option that you don't see on too many textile jackets. You can undo the main fastener and then zip it to this extra mesh panel which just lives behind there. And then when you're in the real height of summer, you've got a meshed panel that's straight down the center of your jacket that allows an amount of air to come through and keep you cool. And you're still able to fasten the collar if you wish, or pop it round and use that hook and loop. So moving to the inside, you've got the two liners. The one that's attached to the outer shell is a dry star waterproof membrane, breathable and keeps out rain. Within that, attached inside it, you've got a thermal full sleeve quilted liner for warmth. You can remove the thermal liner and ride with it just as a waterproof jacket. If you wanted to, you could zip that thermal liner into the outer shell, we've tried it, and you could just have it as slightly warmer without the waterproof lining in there. Something this jacket offers that not too many waterproof jackets do is this membrane can be taken out, and I would say you can wear that as its own separate lightweight jacket. If you're on a tour, that can save you carrying an extra jacket with you. And it means that you don't have to wear a, a bulky bike jacket if you're going out for the evening. If you're on a trip, you can just wear that lining as a fairly casual lightweight jacket. Also on the inside, there's a waterproof Napoleon pocket that sits just to the left-hand side of the chest, which is a really handy place to keep phones and wallets. There are additional pockets on the outside, but they're in the main shell. So they are outside of the waterproof membrane. Wouldn't rely on those to be waterproof. If you want additional pockets on the inside, you're going to need to have the thermal lining attached because there are pockets in the thermal lining, but there aren't pockets attached to the waterproof lining. Also on the inside, there's shoulder and elbow armor as standard, and that meets level two, the higher of the two CE test passes. And there's a pocket for an optional back protector, which we'll put the link to in the description for this video. I think this is about as versatile a touring jacket as you're likely to get. 
It's made from really tough, resilient materials, yet it feels supple on the road and comfortable. And the ability to have that in all the different configurations with the waterproof and the thermal liners both being removable is a real plus for touring. I also like the fact that you can take out that waterproof membrane and use it as a jacket in the evening. You don't need to carry an extra one with you. It just saves you a little bit of luggage space. There are loads of handy features, such as the neck fitment and the, uh, the extra expansion room around the collar. It's been really well thought through this jacket and for £400 it's not crazily expensive either for a touring jacket. I hope that gives you everything you wanted to know about the Alpine Stars Valparaiso V3 Dry Star jacket. But if there's anything you feel we've missed, please pop your question in the comments below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.